The primary goal of a landing page is to convert a visitor into an identifiable lead that you can contact and market to. This process is initiated by offering something of value to a visitor, such as a white paper or ebook, in exchange for their contact information. To access your landing page and forms, click the Pages and Forms tab on your Inbox 25 dashboard, and then select the tab Create a New Page or Form. The first step is to choose a layout of your new landing page or form, and then click the Continue button. First, specify a landing page title. Try to keep it simple, yet descriptive. Now specify a form title. Your form title will appear above your form canvas, which is where your form fields will appear on the landing page. Next, you have to enter a form description. You can enter a text description of your page and form. This is a great area to promote the value of your call to action. Next, select what happens when your visitor converts on a landing page. Are they going to be redirected to a thank you page? Will the successful conversion direct to a downloadable file? Or will you just show a simple confirmation page? Every form will have a submit button associated with it. You can customize the label on a standard browser button, or you can upload a custom image button. This is another area where you can reinforce the call to action to your visitor by customizing the button label to match your offering. For example, if your CTA is a downloadable white paper, then you could label your button Download Now. Finally, associate your landing page with a CRM or marketing list. Every landing page and form must be assigned to an existing CRM or marketing list. The list assignment informs the system as to the final location where incoming conversions should be recorded. It also determines your field mapping options on the form building step, as you'll have the option to map a form field directly to a custom field on your assigned CRM or marketing list. Now, we'll move into customizing the colors of our landing page layout. First up is wallpaper color. By clicking the selected color box, you can customize the selection using either a color picker, color fill palette, RGB value, or define your own numeric color value. You'll see the selection update in real time on the landing page canvas. Then we have to do our header color. Some layouts include a primary header area with a fill color that can be customized. By clicking the selected color box, you can customize the selection using either the color picker, color palette, RGB value, or hex value. Once you select your color layout, it's time to choose the font settings for your form. Again, this is completely customizable, allowing you to use different fonts for different sections as well as different font color and sizes. Now you can use the drag and drop form builder to begin creating your actual form. You have 14 different field options to choose from. Simply click on the desired data field and drag it into the canvas of your form. Our editor is in real time, so you can see the form take shape as you build. Every field contains multiple customization options, including labels, default value, whether or not it's required, if it should have multiple options, and if the field should be mapped to a custom field or directly to your CRM. We'll keep our information requests brief by only adding a few fields, starting with name and email, then a text field for company name, and finally a drop-down menu for our prospect to tell us how they found us. We'll then map the fields to their correct data fields in your CRM. This is done by clicking the drop-down menu labeled Map Field 2, and then selecting the corresponding data field to the question you asked in your form. So for company name, I would select to map this field to my account name field in my CRM. Now, whenever someone submits this form, they automatically become a new lead in my system, with relevant information I need to reach them already in place. Our Drop Menu field option is also very versatile. It allows you to ask questions such as how a person heard about your company. You can then provide options to your targets that are reportable, and they flow back into your CRM. Once again, let's select to map this field question back to the lead source data field in our CRM. Now, enter the options in the drop-down that you want to give your targets, and then we'll move on. And remember, we can choose to make any question on our form a required field by clicking the checked box next to required field. Once you complete building your form, you can wrap up your design by adding your logo and further customize your design with an optional image header. Now that the building stage is done, we can preview our new landing page. If it's to your liking, you can move on to the published landing page. If it requires changes, you can go back to the editor and make adjustments until it's perfect. Once your landing page is published, you have two implementation options. The first is to utilize our hosted version, which also includes autofill fields for visitors that we are tracking and identified. Or, you can opt to grab the form source and embed the form into your own web page. This also affords you the option of building your own custom form styling. Thanks for taking the time to watch our landing page and form builder tutorial video. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon.